So Rob, tell us about Full Screen, the, uh, the Alliance, a little bit of the backstory, and how you see the activation going. So WPP is a long-term investor in Full Screen. We stayed as an investor in Full Screen after Full Screen became part of Peter Chern's Otter um, organization. We're delighted to be in. What Full Screen has done is built a massive multi-channel network with YouTube as its principal distribution outlet. But critically, what it's done is it's built a network of creators numbering 60 or 70,000 people. Everyone knows that influencer marketing and for brands to work with creators, contemporary voices that understand the niches of dedicated audiences is a really important part of the future of brand communications. So what we're doing, which is something we've had to do by hand before, is bringing industrial processes and industrial systems to what was previously a craft. And George's systems are what's enabling us to do that. So George, tell us how you see the, uh, you certainly work with brands and agencies. Yeah. What's different about this arrangement? Well, and we've done a lot of great work with Group M and WPP. Uh, what we've really done together is created a dedicated team with access to tools that we've been building over the years and access to the processes and the expertise that we have in influencer marketing. Um, right up front, you know, identifying the right talent. Um, that might sound simple, but in a world of millions of creators across the social web, um, identifying the right talent for the brand's needs can often be uh, uh, a challenge. And so we have been mining that data for years and, um, and we're going to be sharing that data through our partnership with Group M so that we can do the right talent identification. Of course, when it goes into activating the creator or the influencer to, um, to make their work and distribute through their media channels, that's something we have a lot of experience with. Everything from contracts to dealing with third parties that are involved. Sometimes there's parents, there's managers, there's agents. It's, it's a process. Um, and then, of course, measurement of that performance is a key part of it. So as Rob was saying, um, it's an inherently human process because it's content and it's creative. Um, but we've found every way, both on the technical side as well as on the service side, to um, systematize that. And so we're really excited to be taking this a step further. I think it's a real testament to the rise of you know, people as a new media channel. And, um, and I give Group M a lot of credit for um, you know, really pioneering in this space. So, so Rob, how do you see the activations? What kind of clients are going to be part of this? And what is the form factor? OK. So my moment of epiphany over this was actually at VidCon yes. uh, this year, the, U, the uh, Short Form Video Creators mm -hmm. Conference. And the moment of epiphany came about two things. One, I heard creators say, we love advertisers, but we don't love advertising. That was really, really important. And what that told me was that we had to find authentic voices and a manner for those people to integrate brand communications in the way that they wanted to talk about it. So that was really key. So I realized then that we needed to do something that was something else than just kind of pick people. We needed to find the right sensitivity and the right brands. And I talked to George about that, and he said, well, we can do that. And I'd also thought about influence marketing and creating as very much a kind of millennial and whatever the younger ones that are Gen Z, Gen Z yeah, okay, yeah. millennials <laughs> are issue. But I challenged George on this and I said, well, what if I want to sell automobiles or I want to sell credit cards or I want to sell other things? And he said, well, here's a reel of influencers and creators, some at enormous scale, some at smaller scale, that we can find authentic voices across it. So we have absolutely not positioned player, which is what our new P-L-A-Y-A, -A, which is our new venture is called, as a millennials or Gen Z object. It's our view that almost every brand needs to find authentic voices and creators to go with them. So we're looking at a wide span of clients. We're looking at hospitality. We're looking at package goods. We're looking at automotive. We're looking at telecoms. And uh, we see it as kind of unlimited. Cool. And tell us operationally, George, what's involved in terms of either an investment, a commitment, personnel, kind of what's what, what's kind of happening or what will happen over the course of the year? Yeah, so it really starts with team, right? Um, we want to ensure that we have a dedicated team exclusively servicing the partnership and servicing the clients of Group M who are uh, experts in influencer marketing. When you kind of scan the landscape, there are actually very few people who are experienced in dealing with digital creators, dealing with advertising agencies, and able to um, create great programming. 
and, um, and know the social channels as well that you get on the social web. So um, it starts with team. It's about having that team trained and in place to service uh, the Group M clients out of uh, New York, Los Angeles, and, and then centralized in London as well. So um, that's the start. Then it comes to sharing technical tools. Um, you know, we have done a lot of work over the years, um, really mining data from the social web to see which creators are gaining traction. So um, some of those creators are in exclusive contracts with full screen, but some of them are just people that we have relationships with and are aware of. Um, the Playa team will have access to both. And so they will then activate uh, brand campaigns, whether it's to promote a product or to unbox something or to uh, let you know about uh, a movie coming out or wherever it may be, um, whatever and wherever it may be. Um, the Playa team will be experts in activating brands uh, on behalf, or activating influencers on behalf of brands. And finally, what about the platforms? I know you guys have, are largely on YouTube. Tell us about the platforms. Um, we're here at CES, a lot of talk about cross-platform. Yeah. Mobile World Congress is coming up. Tell us about the platforms, um, uh, where this material will be distributed and how that's developed. Yeah, I'm glad you asked that. So. Um, Five years ago, when Fullscreen was founded, it was all about YouTube. Um, creators, that was their sandbox, and that's where you built an audience and built influence. YouTube remains a very important platform, but if you look at the creators and the influencers today, most of them manage about four to five social platforms actively. So um, you start to see Facebook in the mix now, especially with video, uh, Twitter, of course, Tumblr still very relevant, Instagram has become huge, Snapchat gaining a lot of speed, but then there's even more uh, emerging platforms like We Heart It and, um, and Vine has been really interesting in the past year. So, um, you know, we think about the creator as, as sort of a hub and the social platforms as the owned distribution. What's getting really interesting now is looking at how you can take media to amplify what is created by the, by the influencer. And, um, and also we think it's really important to be on the cutting edge of how you measure that performance because some of these platforms are still figuring out that themselves. Mm -hmm. And so how do we report that back to the client in a way that is uh, dependable and proves ROI? So, well, well, I just wanted to well, ask you this. So there are a number of MCNs. Uh, there is YouTube, of course. And why did you guys choose full screen? Well, we have a corporate relationship with full screen already. We think that George's systems and the way they've sought to industrialize the process is the most relevant to the way we want to do it because we want to take friction out of what's been a pretty friction rich process at the moment. And the other thing that we have a shared commitment to is really our measures of success. So we want many brands to be involved, not just the ones you would expect mm -hmm. to be. We also want to reinvent the concept of earned media. It's our view that if we systemize this properly and work with the right creators, that the amount of money we spend on paid media within those channels with full screen and distribution is going to be amplified. And we would hope for a five to eight X return yeah. on earned media as well. And so whilst we've got enormous respect for uh, Machinima and Maker and all of the other MCNs and we'll carry on doing work with them, you have to focus somewhere. So in the same way that we announced the deal with BuzzFeed at the back of last year at the intersection of creativity, media, technology and data and becoming a group where you could go to for ninja skills to create for those platforms, we're doing the same thing with full screen and we're excited about it.